if the season was shorter, there was more actual urgency and anybody watched the regular season outside of a team getting watched by their home fans, it would have been a huge day. Yesterday was the greatest single day for any baseball player ever. It really was. Let's start with this. Generally, I don't know, let's go with always in the history of baseball. If you threw a shutout in a Major League Baseball game, in the summer heat in America, the hottest we've ever been, over 100 pitches, heavy uniform on, Major League hitters, complete game, one hit shutout, you would be gassed, fried, done. They wrap your arm with heavy towels and ice. You look like a speed bag that Tyson worked on for two hours. That's what Shohei Otani did yesterday. And then he played the second game of the doubleheader and smacked not one but two home runs. There is no comp for him on the planet. It's the greatest day for any pro athlete ever. Oh, by the way, he now leads baseball in homers or still does with 38. We found a unicorn. It's real. It's him. He's got a name, Shohei Otani. Retire the term. Again, if baseball was shorter, had more urgency, and we discussed it like other sports with fewer games where the regular season mattered, would we understand what we're watching? I grew up watching baseball, much to the chagrin of my partner Jason McIntyre in the 70s. I can tell you every infield of the National League West. That's what I did. I watched baseball. And the greatest endurance feat of my generation was, say you're Johnny Bench. Day game, Saturday, first of two, you were a catcher, there was AstroTurf, or you're at Three Rivers in Pittsburgh, Bush Stadium in St. Louis, Veteran Stadium it was called in Philadelphia, AstroTurf, you're a catcher, you're burning 11 pounds off in the first of two, and if you could as a catcher, Manny Sanguian for the Pirates, you were a Johnny Bench and you could, in the same game, play catcher with AstroTurf on a Saturday afternoon doubleheader and then get a base knock in the same game and drive in a run. That was a great feat of endurance. But then Bill Plummer would catch the second game for the Reds in the 70s. They wouldn't dare put Johnny Bench out for the second game of a doubleheader to catch. Otani pitched a complete game. Heat, sun, afternoon, shutout. Yeah, I'll play the second one and dominate that too. It's incredible what we're watching. It's why the Angels got very few offers for him. It runs counter to what you'd expect. What do you offer for him if there's no guarantees you can keep him? I don't know. You could gut your farm system. You could give away four other high-end players but to be an ace pitcher, lead the league in all the power stats, and yet run elegantly is hard to describe. It makes Bo Jackson seem sticky. Deion Sanders, niche, just a remarkable performance, all-time stuff, retire the term unicorn. A one-hit shutout, I don't care if the Tigers aren't great. It's Major League Baseball. Afternoon sun, hottest this planet's ever been. And then to whack two home runs. I mean, there's been feats of endurance. This kid is absolutely remarkable. You understand why the Angels said, you know what? We're going to go to the White Sox. We're going to give up prospects. We're going to make a run. You know, I talk about it in the NBA all the time. Certain players deserve, Dame Lillard deserves to play in May. He's too good not to be playing in May and June. Shohei Otani deserves October, wherever it is. We deserve it. He deserves it more than anybody. <laughs> Unbelievable. I sat and watched the replay last night at home. And I don't watch a lot of regular season baseball. All-time stuff. Um, all right, now the second great athlete, Patrick Mahomes. So Joe Burrow is okay calf strain. Okay relative to what we thought would have happened had he been seriously injured. He limped off the field yesterday. And so Joe Burrow was one of many quarterbacks who passed on being in the quarterback documentary for Netflix. It would have helped your endorsements. It would have helped your brand. Joe Burrow said, no, thanks. 
Dak said no thanks. Tua, Matt Stafford, Jalen Hurts, these are Justin Fields. All were offered it. All said, no, man. I got enough on my table. I got enough on my plate. So this would have helped all of them. It helps with endorsements. It makes you more money everywhere. And all of those quarterbacks, many of them stars said, no. So instead, Patrick Mahomes said, I'll do it. Got a newborn, high-maintenance brother, pressure of the world, Super Bowl on the line. Patrick Mahomes said, yeah, bring it on. Mahomes, Kirk Cousins, and Mariota all have done themselves well. They look mature and responsible. They're balancing adult family members, newborns, football pressure, crazy diets, media scrutiny. Kirk Cousins and Marcus Mariota have never been more likable. And I've never respected all three of these quarterbacks more for what they go through. This is a grown-up job. You have to be mature, and you have to be able to compartmentalize. Wives, babies, you know, it's hard to have a big chip on your shoulder as an NFL quarterback when there's a burp cloth over it. But Mahomes is one of one. Think about this. Now you add the TV cameras. Amazon's got a series. HBO's got a football series. Netflix does. Quarterback in the NFL is an utter pressure cave. One of the last 14 teams that have been on HBO's Hard Knocks, one of 14, won a playoff game. One of five in the Amazon series, all or nothing. One of five, I think it was Arizona, uh, uh, won a playoff game. So that's, that's two of 19. Even in the Netflix series, Kirk Cousins' season ended in disappointing fashion, and Marcus Mariota got benched. And then there's Mahomes. TV cameras hovering, newborn, challenging brother, playing with, what, nine or ten rookies, scrutiny of the world, most talked about football player on the earth, won the Super Bowl. Even Tom Brady needed control. Brady controlled his documentary. Tom Brady, offseason, flies his receivers to him. Tom needed and sought control. Peyton Manning, much respect. He would be the first to tell you, sought control. Mahomes, bring it on. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.